Hey there, Ashley here at Createful Art. Today I want to show you how to paint clouds. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on the tips, tricks, and techniques that we can learn so that we can paint any type of cloud. The first thing we want to do is we want to find a reference photo. So if you're not using your own reference photo from your own photographs, you can go to pixabay.com and it's a wonderful, free, useful tool. So that's one useful tip for you. So I have found this gorgeous photo of some clouds. I'm just going to be using it as a reference. I'm not going to try to copy the picture because if I really wanted to copy the picture, I would just take a picture or use that picture. What I'm going to be doing is taking the elements that I like from the picture and then creating my own scene. This is a wonderful book on clouds and skies. I will put a link in the description below to this book. I have made a video on how to find the right colors and how to mix colors if you need to. To find the exact colors that you want, you can color match and that video you can click. It's right here. Because <laughs> you're going to want to use your color chart that I share with you how to make in that video. I am using just primary colors to make this easy for you. And my colors I have listed in the description below if you want the specific names. And what I'm doing is I'm matching up the colors. So I know I'm going to need a lot of white. And I'm getting close to that color that I want. Here's the picture. And actually it's a darker blue. So I'm just going to add some more blue to it. Still going to match that a little bit darker. And of course there's going to be lighter blue as well. So I'll be mixing some white on my canvas. And then this blue has some... A little bit of red in it and it makes a tiny bit of purplish color so I'll show you what that looks like right here all right so this is the second color of blue that I would like and then as we get lower there is an orange and yellow in there so I'm combining my yellow and my red and white and then what happens is it goes to the yellow side so this starts moving into the yellow and it's very, very light yellow. So I'm adding white. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be using these ones purely on my canvas. I'm going to be using these. So once your colors are mixed, the next thing is your brushes. Now this is a very big, nice tip for you. The best kind of brush to use for clouds is called the filbert. Now this is what the filbert looks like. It has a rounded edge like this, but it's a flat brush. This is what the big version looks like. See how it's rounded like that? But it's flat on the side. So we have all different sizes here. And the size that you're going to be using depends on the size of your canvas. So I'm going to show you how to make this guy on a small canvas so I'm not taking up a lot of your time and then I will show you in speed motion how to make a sky on a large canvas. So the first thing is since I have a small canvas I'm going to use a small filbert brush. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just blocking in my shapes here. Okay, so I have this cloud right over here on the right and then it kind of comes in like this and I just use my brush to sketch with so I'm just looking at my reference photo I'm not worrying about copying it exactly and if I discover I need it to be a little bit darker like up here at the top I just grab some more of the blue drag it over and usually towards the edges it is nice to have it a little darker like this and then to just blend it out as you get lower because that's how skies look and it's really the contrast between the blue in the sky and the white of the clouds that make it so interesting to look at so this is a big shape right here that is blue so I'm just gonna block this in 
All right. And so when I get to the points where there's clouds coming in here, I really loosen, loosen, loosen up. So I'm just going to kind of come in here and I make those marks where the sides of the clouds would be. And I don't really layer a whole bunch. This will have a layer on it, but I really want to get an idea of what it's going to look like in the first place. So I lay it down how I see it. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the specific shapes and not using my brain and what my brain thinks a cloud should look like. If I do that, usually my cloud will look like a cartoon cloud. So I just really, really, really emphasize when I teach students, don't look at it as a cloud, look at it as shapes. And as I get closer down here towards the bottom, this blue gets lighter. So I have to pay attention to that. The light shining on it is going in this direction, so I'm just going to help it when I go and lay down that light to kind of remember that that's there. I'm going to start shaping the cloud and what the cloud looks like. So I'm dipping into that cloud color, which is actually the gray color, and adding white to it to lighten it where it needs to be, and then leaving that white edge. And I want you to notice my brush strokes. Okay, what are my brush strokes? Well, for one, I'm not using my whole arm. I am just using my hand, actually my fingers, not even my wrist really, my fingers, in a motion kind of like this, in a round, circular motion. And the reason why I'm doing that is because that's the way I see the clouds. They're like little circles on the ends. And then when it's time to be wispy, I start being wispy with my brush strokes. Okay, So I follow the texture of whatever it is that I'm painting. And this is just the beginning. It's not the final. So anything I want to change specifically can be changed and it's no big deal. So I'm getting down this dark area right here. And I'm using my darkest blue color, my gray shade blue, and I'm coming in here and I'm going to lay out where this light is going to come in. And I'm following the shapes of the clouds. And then there's this big shadow right through here. And I'm not necessarily going to make it look exactly like that because it does draw your eye to it a lot. So I'm just going to make it a little bit less noticeable. Since I get to be the painter, I get to choose instead of being a photographer where I can't. So that's what, what I love about painting. Okay, so the white edges of the clouds, I'm going to just leave them white from my canvas. But of course I'm going to go over those with white. It's just, I like to picture it that way, so that's how I keep it for now. This whole time I don't really wash my brush out. All I do is I add more paint onto my brush. The time that I will be concerned about washing my brush is when I'm adding some yellow. I like how the colors blend together so that it makes it look more realistic. So I just keep the on and sometimes I'll wipe it off like this and just have a little color. But you'll notice that you see like a lot of the different sky colors in the clouds. So keeping that on there is A-OK. -okay. It's awesome. There's little pockets of white in the clouds. Doesn't really necessarily matter where I stick them because this is a painting. But I just want to make sure I have them there. Okay, now I'm going to bring that color over here to shape out this cloud. And I'm leaving that bottom right there with the white. Now when I add the yellow, I'm going to wash out my brush because I really don't want to combine my yellow and blue. 
So that's one tip for you when you're doing skies. If you have yellow and your sky doesn't have green in it, what you have to do is you have to make sure you do not layer your blue and your yellow. You don't blend them. You don't mix them on here. So you want to make sure you have also a clean brush. So I'm just coming in here. I'm adding the yellow down. I will worry about all the details later. I'm adding the orange. And then I'm going to blend those right through here. making a gradient type effect. I'm going to grab some white and I'm going to go in that ray motion. And notice how I'm not going over, 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 over it. When I find the ray I like, I move on to the next spot. Now I have the basic sketch done. And you might be like, oh, it looks complete, but it's not. So what I do is I come through and I do some blending. Now I'm going to add white in the white spots above it and I'm going to do some blending. So I'm coming over this with the white okay, and then I'm going to come in and get some of that blue and blend it in with that white. Unless there's a really really dark contrast, then I won't touch it. But it's amazing the little pockets of lighter color you have in the clouds that you just don't see. But they're there. So see how that kind of blends that right there and makes it look a little more realistic. And that white comes in and it gives it some texture. I'm really going to add a lot of that texture in here with the white and let that blue blend. Okay, and then there's a line right here that separates those clouds. So I'm going to make that line right here. Separates them. And I just load up my brush when I add the white and it goes right on top. Okay, see how that works? When I want to add more contrast, I just come in, grab some of that darker blue, and I put it up next to the white. And it makes the more contrast color against that white. Looks like there's some of that orange color right here. So I'm just going to add it in. And I just have to make sure that I use a lot of it to go on top. This is really dark in here, so make sure I have more contrast. Okay, and then this color actually is a combination of the blue and the orange, the grayish blue. So I start combining those colors when I'm coming down here. And it doesn't have any white, so I just go over that, those combining colors. And I just go from one spot to the next, blending, making it look the way I want it to look. Okay, another key thing is that the clouds right through here, they have some orange in them and they have some white in them. So you just kind of come in and add over the top some of that other color and let it blend in so you go over it with your brush a little. Add some of that white to it. Just give it the appearance that there's fluffy clouds in here not just a solid dark area. Okay, and then over this area, that dark area, these clouds are the that dark orange color. You just come in and you add them over this and it looks like clouds wherever you add those in that cloudy type motion. And the more contrast, the more closely it'll look to the sun, the less contrast, the further away it is to the sun. So right here, I'm not going to add a whole lot of contrast. There's 
some clouds back here. Okay, and then I come in with my white and I make this a little stronger as far as the white and let the yellow and the white combine as we paint over it. Okay, and then there's a lot of contrast in a couple of the areas on here that go over that shine. So now I'm just adding this last contrast. This is the darkest color. And I'm coming in and I'm giving it the pockets of dark that are in between those clouds and adding that contrast that needs to be there. Thank you for painting clouds with me. I hope that you enjoyed this and you learned a lot. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see in the next videos. Thank you for enjoying your love of art with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!